Yo, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, it is that time, your boy Professor, <clears throat> it's your boy Professor Pip is back in the building, um, coming at you with a weekly uh, trade recap so far, um, this is brought to you by Thick Booty Holes and T, um, Thick Witted Records, um, just coming in tonight, um, looking at the chart so far, Doing a quick breakdown of the trades I've taken so far. <clears throat> I had one that I was holding on Nas from last Friday. I did not chart that one up simply because I was holding it from last Friday. Hit TP with market open this week. But I did take a few on um I had one winner, one break even on AU, and then uh another break even and then a loss on DJ. So I'm going to break those down real quick, show you how I was looking at the market in there, show you how I got active. All right, cool, cool, cool. So starting off with um, GJ, what we had from the weekend analysis was we was looking for a price action either to, you know, come back down and retrace um, with that weekly open on GJ as we identified we were stuck in this consolidation zone or, you know, price action was just going to push above this consolidation zone since we've been bullish since damn uh when we started we back in March, March of eight. We've been bullish since March, um, March eighth of this year. And um yeah, we haven't really seen too much um indication of price action wanting to go bullish or bearish at all. So for the most part, the 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 bullish um setups would are are gonna be the best to um wait and Bullish setups are going to be the best setup to take right now, but with the way price action started to consolidate, closing out last week, and then still stuck in that consolidation zone at the market open of this week, we kind of wanted to see a little bit of just a little piece of retracement, you know what I'm saying, for the most part before price action pushed back bullish. But as you can see, market open, uh, pulled down a little bit, and then just shot through the roof and just, you know, got about that thing and kept going. Now, from where price action sits now, it looks like we potentially could come back down and retest this consolidation zone if we um, that we got identified. But um, I don't know. I don't got too much faith in GJ's pullback nowadays. But for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, just break down um, the trade that I've taken so far. It was a counter trend trade that I started off the market with, simply because, like I said, from the um, from the weekend analysis, what we was looking for was the, for what, what I was looking for was for GJ's price action to do a little bit of a, a retracement before pushing higher. So, um, looking at this weekly open, we had this on some charts as gap, but you know, price action opened up way the fuck down here. Let me see, find that. Yeah, price action opened up here and then dropped and then pulled back up there. But either way, um, Price action, you know, created this low right here, then started to climb back higher. So once I saw price action climbing back higher, I was like, okay, well, this is going to be my Asian high, my representation of my Asian high. And then what I'm looking for is I was waiting for that short off. Um, how I was looking at it as I got my four hour zone, my four hour uh, resistance marked up in here in the black. I saw price action pushing into that zone. You got big momentum, momentous candle pushing into that level, and then it starts uh, printing exhaustion candles. And for the most part, what I had was um, bearish candle. And then once uh, I was looking for another bearish candle to break the low of that previous candle, and then I was in that thing. <clears throat> um, the only thing about this is I did not capture any profits off of this. I did push stops into uh, profit um, as quickly as possible. Well, I did capture profits off this. Yeah, yeah, because I had the I had the um, full risk on this one, big risk on this one. Uh, 13 pips, TP1, captured some profits. Um, I had the call outs in my group chat. I got some results right over here. This is the GJ right here. Sale. Um, I had a point fifty in 162, 124. That's the entry. Took some profits off. Um, because like I said, I was only looking for this to come down and create the um create the Asian low. And I was trying to target, you know, this little wick right here, something that I identified as price action um doing as far as pulling back for retest. It didn't drop down as far. I put stops in property immediately just because BJ been fighting with the money. And then as you can see, trailing stops got stopped out. Last night, um, what I was looking for, it was, I knew price action was retracing and it was retracing uh, bearishly, coming all the way down, I got the NY high, NY low, coming to the Asian session. I did not take any trades immediately because 
Um, if you look at this on a higher time frame, you just got one or two big ass candles pushing this way, and there are no real supports looking left to say, okay, I'm gonna take a buy from here. So what I did was I just sit back and waited. Um, I was not interested in jumping in on any of these as a potential higher low to push price higher. I wanted to see the market shift on the one hour and the 15 minute. And this area right here, we got identified as the Asian low. We jump out to the one hour. You can see how price section came down, you know, pushed down and start out in this area. We got one, two, three wicks, um, two of them being bearish rejection wicks. And then one being like a, bull, a bullish doji. Price pulled away a little bit and then came down and then um, rejected again, weak bearish, and then pushed above and closed above structure right here. So what I waited for was price action to come or what I wanted was price action to come back and tap into that zone or price action shifted the structure from, and I was going to try to retest the highs from that point. But as you can see, price action came down, um, tapped into my zone and started to print bullishly. And I'm like, oh yeah, we in that thing. Kind of like the same setup I took last week that kind of got me cooked. Uh, same thing right here, kind of got me cooked. I wasn't confused on the stops this time, but um, yeah, I just I just took it because I've had this setup multiple, multiple times and it has played out waiting for that structural shift, waiting for price action to come back to that zone and then get active back to the upside. As you can see, price action came down, tapped me in, left this big ass rejection with and closed bullishly. So I was like, okay, you know, I feel good about it. So, you know, um, 16 pip stop. And that was pretty much it. Price came down and just continued bearishly. So at this point, what I'm looking for is price action to um, retest this bullish continuation zone where price action um, broke from. Um, and see it started to create a support on top of that zone or somewhere within that zone, and then potentially take it back bullishly or um, a 50% fib if that's not 50% already, you know, from the low all the way into the high. And, you know, right lines up perfectly. So, um, what I do know about GJ is GJ does not like to push deep into the 50. GJ just like to barely touch the 50 and then take off. So that, when I saw price action push down this far and then um, wick that level, I thought that was going to be the move that puts price action back into the highs because this is generally how GJ likes to retest the um, FIBs. It, it, it come real, real close to that 50 and it'll just take off and start quick, continue to push bullish. Um, I was not too upset about this trade because price action was bullish. I took a buy and it just didn't work out. That's just part of the game. So I was like, okay, whatever, let's move on. Um, nothing so far just yet on GJ, just sitting back and waiting. Um, on AU, AU price action has been um, bearish coming from last week. Uh, we pushed up bullish, manipulated the highs and then started back down trending. Uh, I had some flat lows or identified some flat lows that I was looking for to get manipulated above, you know, grab some stops and then short, but it didn't do that. It came out and created that Asian high, kind of the same as um, GJ did. And I took a short thinking, you know, okay, well, what we're going to do is ride it into the Asian low. If when we hit that Asian low and turn around, we start, um, we start put, um, printing uh, momentum bullish candles, then you just get out. But for the most part, with this trade, what I was targeting was this area right down here. As you can see, TP was hit 17 pip, take profit 13.5 stops. Um, as price section started to pull away from my entry, stops went into profit immediately. And that was on Sunday night. And then um, last night, what I was looking for was pretty much the same thing. Um, what I did notice and what I did identify, um, I did know that this move right here was coming. How did I know? Because back on the higher time frame, as you look at, if you blink the chart and you look at the impulse of this move here, this was the 50% retracement back into that demand zone. I was just looking forward to tap deeper into that demand zone. It didn't actually really touch it. So coming into tonight's um, session, that's what kind of got me a little bit nervous as far as taking buys, uh, simply because price action pulled down and didn't really touch deep into that demand zone, if it even touched it at all. And then it skyrocketed to the top. But the good thing about it is it has broken structure looking left. So any real strong retracement from this move right here, as price action comes back down and starts creating supports, I will be looking to buy off of those supports. Um, these black levels in the background are now invalid. Those were my four hour supports and resistances from um, Sunday and Monday. And as you can see, price action has broke above, has stalled out at this one, but for the most part, I'll be looking to um, catch buys um, and potentially break through this level, probably even um, just all the way back up to the extremes. For the most part, that's what I'll be looking for tonight. I'm um, not really sure what my targets will be, seeing as how 
Per section was not able to break through this resistance. We do have this pretty aggressive um, retracement right here, but yet again, that could only be the 50% retracement from this swing low to this swing high. You know what I'm saying? Lining up like that. What I do know about AU, AU like dip deep past the 50 and then retrace. So, or, you know, turn around. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much just what I'm looking for, uh, looking at right now. Those are the trades I've taken so far. Um, one win. Um, I didn't take any profits off of this. So, another one break even, pushing over to DJ. One loss, another break even. So, one win, two break evens, and one loss so far for this week. Today is now Tuesday. Um, I will get ready to delete all this Excuse me. and mark them back up and get and get active and get cracked in and see what we can do for tonight. Overall, for the most part, um, checking out the higher time frames, GJ is still very bullish. Um, what I do know is that price action is creating higher highs and higher lows, potentially just created the higher high now retracing the potentially going to create that next higher low. What do I think that higher low has the highest potential to stall out or start to create from? That's the part where we kind of, you know, don't want to start speculating about because that's what potentially gets your ass cool. But um, we do have this um, consolidation structure most recently broken right over here. So potentially, if it doesn't, if it goes more than 50% of this impulse here, if it comes back, you know, if it starts to close, big bearish kind of below here, then potentially to be looking to this area, looking left um, to see if price creates a support right there and then starts to push back bullish to target these highs and then push even further. Ain't no telling. We already closed off 50% of that week. So, you know, GJ is in a real, real funky situation right now just because price section is just pushing, bro. It ain't really giving you no... Great retracements to say, okay, well, I'm about to get in right here and take the market higher. It's just, it's just pushing. What I do know is, if price action close below, above uh, 164,232, yeah, your next target is sitting about 172 ish area. So keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes out. AU, AU, uh, acting funny with the money. We pushed above, liquidated on the higher time frames, some profit taking, whatever you want to call it, and then it started reacting bearishly. Um, from the daily, we have found uh, support in the market where price previously created from, and now it looks like it wants to push back bullish to retest the highs. I am looking for that setup. I am looking for that trade. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is um, potentially this is a low, high, higher low, higher high somewhere in this area, higher low from over here, higher high. We kind of broke structure right here and potentially price action could come back up and we already got a somewhat kind of a, you know, rejection from that level. So if price action starts to struggle to break above this high to continue, then yeah, definitely we'll be putting stops in the profit immediately just because of, you know, this little resistance or support that was here now could be returning or turning into resistance as price try to push back higher. But we can catch some momentum, you know, around about 8 o'clock, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time when uh, the Asian session cranks up over on the other side of the world. The next time will be usually about 10.30 to 11, you know, momentum like to jump into the market. We can get active. We can catch some trades. And, you know, about 20 pills, 30 pills for the night. We can call it a night and then wait for them all. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's all I got for this one. Um, just a little trade, simple trade recap. Trade breakdown on the things, you know, that I've done this week. A lot better than last week. Um, last week I was disappointed just because I was not, um, I was doing what I was called catching. So I would see a level price I think will hold up from. I'd be right here with a buy limit and price would just shoot right through. Or I would see this level and be looking for a buy limit right here, you know, trying to catch the bottom, trying to catch the top, trying to catch too much. So I was like, you know what, forget that catch. I'm going to wait. I'm going to see my setup. And then I'm gonna get active. And pretty much that's what I've been doing. Not a lot of trades. Um, haven't really been trading outside the Asian because I feel like that's another thing I've been doing too much of lately. Simply because I trade Asian. I like the Asian. Um, Asian does provide, you know, um, pretty good ranges here lately this year. Um, 
Price action really has been moving, you know, from from like six o'clock to about eight, nine, ten o'clock. That's forty eight pips right there, yo. Um, you don't really see that too much in the London no more. This one over here from last night, that's twenty four pips, a little bit smaller, but still, you know, comparatively speaking, it ain't that many markets. I mean, it ain't that much really going on at six o'clock at night, you know, on our side of town, but it is on the other side of the world. So, you know, then the London, London usually was the the the, the big bam, the big boomer. Um. With, with the New York system being the lead as far as kicking out percentages wise, but here lately the Asian has been holding up, throwing hands and trying to get active. Um, I did not take this long. Like I said, I did know or was expecting um, AU to turn around um, and push back bullish right down here somewhere, but I thought I was gonna pull deeper. The reason I didn't take it once I saw it close above my Asian high, cause I will take a break in a retest trade um, breaking above, retesting and push back higher. And as you can see, you kind of got that. You broke above, closed strongly above, retest one, pull away, retest two, even third freaking retest before it really took up out of there. But it was pushing back into the four hour. It was support now, could have potentially been resistance, especially after seeing all these attempts of trying to get back up through that zone. And I think AU had some news out last night from the weekend analysis I did. Uh, call out a few uh, potential news plays that could affect the market, shake up the market. So I wasn't too, uh, once I got trailed out over here, um, I was like, oh, you know, we shot, I shot my shot. It was a good shot, but I, I should have took off profits, especially pushing as far as it freaking pushed. Um, I didn't, I didn't take any profits off of this. Um, and yeah, it came all the way back and boop, boop, boop. All them profits, no, it's floating profits anyway, you know. Either way, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. You got any questions? Drop a comment. You trying to analyze and work with your boy? Drop a comment. If you just think a good job, drop a comment. I'll holler at y'all. See y'all next week. Peace.